Mi oh, Mickey, I'm stealing your shit that you left here. There you go. We'll leave that in the video. <laughs> Hey you guys, Ben from Media's Play Games. Today I'm getting my Vegeta baby deck profile. I know not too long ago I only gave you the baby deck profile, but I only just got my hands on this card, um, and I love it. Uh, I love it so much that I'm only playing this deck, and I feel like I'll only be playing this deck for a very long time. Um, let's get it started. Now, you know I only play four Divine Vardos, and the reason why I play four Divine Vardos is because Handy Gear is a little bitch. Play four Revenge Death Balls. Um, Revenge Death Balls, now that I'm versing a lot of more people, I am going up against a lot more barrier decks, so... It kind of hurts, but, you know, they're really good, because they don't, if you're going up against something that doesn't have barrier, it just kills them. It's a 1 mana 25k. Um, and we play three Unending Awakenings. The reason why we play three is because, of course, on this side, you're also a Saiyan on that side as well, while the other baby was only a Saiyan on its Awakened side. But... Um, yeah, this card's so strong against, um, what's it called? The, the, like, the blue-yellow Herudic, yeah, blue-yellow Herudicon. You pretty much just put this down and, yeah. Um, I feel like this le leader, even though, you're, like, you're self-awakening, you don't need to do that, do it that much. I found that I am awakening about turn four, even against aggressive decks. Um, still playing four Sensu Bean. I was deciding of if I should just play like a mono red build, but I tried it and I hated it. So yeah, uh, four Sensu Bean because Sensu Bean's the strongest card in the game. Of course, four Baby Vengeance Unleashed. Baby Vengeance Unleashed is a strong card. Um, especially that I am now just tutoring in the six drop. So um, you can just play this for one mana and then evolve it for four for like the next turn if you want to. But I usually am playing these turn one. Four daily training Vegetas. Now, I'm not playing any other Vegeta GTs. The reason why is because the Digging Deep Vegeta, it did come out turn three, but I could just play things at my own pace. If I want to see it turn one, then I can just mulligan into it. If I really want to see it, I can just mulligan into it. Because I don't mind sending these back anymore because I can just pop their field pretty easily. Um, but yeah, four di uh, daily trainings. I play four Sane Strength Babies. These, I, I find myself just summoning a lot by themselves as a four drop. Um, and then like awakening that turn or something. Um, but, you know, of course, you know, doing this whole combo where you go like this, then this, and then getting it off multiple times is insane. Um, and I play two of the Epoch Grudge Grade 8 uh, Babies. And the reason why is because there were a lot of games where I didn't see my win conditions and it just felt like I needed something to get me to, through that extra, um, like, extra push. These, if they last two turns, they've made their value. If they last one turn, it wasn't worth playing it. It is a big drop because it is a four drop over a big four drop, or just this. So sometimes just playing it does hurt, but I don't regret putting it in my deck. And I play two intensifying power trunks. I bumped it down because we're not self awakening anymore. Um, yeah, so I found a lot of times I wasn't even swinging it with it anyway. So playing just two is fine. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I do play two M2 because M2 is so strong for any red deck. Four chain attack trunks because there's a lot of targets you can drop off for it. Mainly uh, like your glory obsessed. And of course, chain attack down. I play four foreseeing hit. Foreseeing hit is mainly stealing a lot of people's combo uh, cards now. Um, and like after they get their cards to the hand, they'll probably chain Zeno their board down. Talking about chain Zeno, I only play two. Um, fuck the people at Gamezilla. No, not Gamezilla. At Penrith, <laughs> Penrith GT. Because they're like, oh, how many like Zenos do you play? I'm like, well, just watch the fucking dev profile. You'll fucking find out then. So yeah, two Zenos. Um, and of course three glory obsessed. I can bump these up to three if I really want I mean to four and like drop something else because I found that these are really pushing my, my late game um, I had a lot of people say oh just play the double shot super saiyans because then you can go like one mana to just bring it out Then bring out your Goku for another one mana and then go into their SS4 But I found like these are kind of in the spot where revenge death ball should be So I'm not going to play more of this just over these just to get the win condition off. Because that win condition is only there if you have no other way of beating your opponent. Um, and I play two Kyan Saiyan Sun Gokus because they're strong. With Vegito. 
Um, and then, of course, the one Vegito. It's one me. So every single sixth game, I'll play it and mean to play it. So, like, rather than... Uh, there'll be a lot of games where I can just manner it and it's fine. But the games that I want to play it, I will play it. And then two signs is food. Because um, science is food is probably the best thing. Like, best war card to use. So, yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Uh, shout out to Gabe. Um, I'm pretty much their judge here, so they gave me their judge card. So, yeah. So I'll see you in the next video. I didn't fuck that up, did I? I did. I don't know. I don't know my outro. What was it again? Fuck Dean, he's moving. Yeah, outro. <laughs> yeah,